Hi there, we're going to make a database now to hold your newsfeed that if you're following this series you're about to make. And I have made it extremely easy for you because I'm not going to put you through the whole rigmarole of writing all the tables and everything. I've actually made three scripts and if you go to, to the description down below you will see a link. Uh, you may need to scroll down that description but you will see a link where it'll say these are your scripts. And I'm going to go by those, go over these scripts one by one. The first is a connection script, and this is going to connect to your database. Now, if you're working on uh, XAMP, for example, a, a XAMP server, which is this right here, what you'll want to do is you'll want to go ahead and start your Apache and start your MySQL. I have these started, so I'll just stop them just uh, so you can see what this window is going to look like. So here's what you do to start these. You just hit start on Apache, you hit start on MySQL, and you'll open XAMPP using uh, all programs, and it's called, uh, let's see, uh, where is it? Apache Friends or something. Oh, okay, it's down here in the folders. Uh, Apache Friends, you click on that, and you click XAMP control panel and that will open this up but we're already there so uh, we're done with that and you just start both of these top services the MySQL and the Apache and then you're golden okay now let's go to the uh, scripts actually before we go to the scripts uh, if you're using XAMP then I need you to make a database and we're gonna start by creating that database and in order to do that we need to go to uh, localhost PHP myadmin index PHP. Now, if you haven't changed the index PHP in your localhost on your XAMPP, and you go here, you'll see the XAMPP for Windows front page. I don't recommend you change that right away if you don't need to, uh, because there's links in here that are useful to you. And the one we want is PHP MyAdmin. So we'll go to PHP MyAdmin. And this is where you're going to create your database. So we need a database that is called, and let me see what I've got in here for that, uh, News Feeds. So I'm just going to take this. And if you do this on XAMPP, you won't need to edit a single thing in any of these files. If you don't do this on XAMPP, you'll have to edit these four things here. You'll have to put a password in, your username won't be root, and your database name may or may not be news feeds. Localhost may or may not work. If you're on GoDaddy, you're going to have to put the fully qualified uh, things such as DB428 blah 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 dot uh, secure server dot net or whatever they're called. Anyway, if you're on XAMPP, this should work without you having to modify a single thing. So let's go back to XAMPP here, uh, or to uh, our PHP MyAdmin. And where it says Databases, you're going to click Databases and create a new database. So you will just paste that news feeds in from that other database and we'll say Create. Processing Request. Database news feeds has been created. Okay, from here, we're going to go, let's go back to the scripts because I want to go over these. Uh, these are going to be in text form, so you'll copy them, and I've created notes underneath each one. You're going to create a folder called News for your feed, and that's going to be in this XAMPP folder, and I'll show you when I go to save this document. Uh, let's see, File, I'm going to hit Save As because I've already made that. So if you navigate up, and if you've installed your XAMPP in your C drive, local C, you'll go to local C, XAMPP, and then you'll go to htdocs, and then you'll create this folder called news. So you go up here and you hit this create folder button, and when you do, it's gonna give you something like this. But uh, eh, I'll just leave that 
as new folder but anyway you're gonna put news in here and let me see how I did that did I capitalize it it already contains a folder named news do I want to replace it now so I'm just gonna leave this as new folder and I'll, I'll deal with that later but yeah you would create a folder called news no caps or anything like that now when you've created the folder called news you'll click into that folder and you'll do this all over again create a new folder and in this case you're gonna call this folder scripts so once you have this folder created called scripts then you go into scripts and you'll save this connect all uh, it's gonna be connect all text when you get it because if I do it in PHP it won't uh, it'll try and render it won't be able to you won't be able to read any of this so you'll rename this from connect all text to connect all PHP and I've given instructions in here that are commented out you can leave those in or you can get rid of them whatever you choose to do and then we're gonna save this as connect all and mine already exists so I'm gonna overwrite it and then you're gonna follow the same procedure with this one called create tables and you're gonna copy all of that and you're gonna put it into your uh, word processing program which is notepad plus plus hopefully and it's going to be when you get it create tables dot text and file will be saved as create tables dot php so you just change the dot text to dot php and you hit enter in my case it exists because I've already got it there and then you're gonna take connect test dot text and I've put the same instructions on the top of that as to how to rename it and where to put it and you're going to save that as connect test dot php uh -huh. okay and you save it and then you have your files where you need to have your files so you've created your database you've gone in here and you've created news feeds so you go over to your left and you can uh, look at news feeds and it's going to say that there are no tables there and if you do this on your own server uh, on a on a remote server uh, either GoDaddy or HostGator or any any of the remote servers if you have it uh, all you have to do to make this work is change your connection script that I've given you here and you would put it in the same folder convention you'd want to put news underneath your domain somewhere as a folder and then another folder in news called scripts and then you save these as PHP's and you put them all in the scripts folder now I've tested these scripts to work on ex on an external server as well as an internal server so anyway here here it is on PHP rocks and I, I didn't put a news thing in there I just did scripts but I'm gonna go ahead and change that to news so we can follow this through on a live website anyway uh, let me find the appropriate uh, location here so I'm gonna go news dash scripts dash connect test underscore test dot PHP now if I've typed this incorrectly and if you followed what I've told you to do you will go to a page that looks like this and it's gonna say it's all good you are connected that means you've made a successful connection from your scripts to your database now all you need to do is click this right here and it's gonna create your tables for you automatically you don't have to go in there and make tables and and sit there and mess around and quite possibly get something wrong and then then we're gonna have problems later on so I've gone ahead and made this as easy as humanly possible for you and if you're using XAMP you shouldn't have to change a single thing and you just click there and wait and it's gonna say table feeds created table feeds list created nothing more to see here get busy with the next video and before we do that I'm gonna go back over here to uh, where was I P localhost and where it said no tables found 
I'm going to drill down to news feeds again here. And we're going to see that magically two tables have appeared. And if you look at the structure of the tables, uh, all of the link IDs, all, all of the uh, rows that you need are in here. Uh, there's some special uh, indexes that I have down below that maybe not on this one, maybe on the other one. But uh, there's, there's some, uh, some distinct values that you're going to need and uh, and some uniques and those are all taken care of for you uh, let's see row statistics well we'll look at that later anyway uh, now you have a database and you have all of the fields you need so we can move on to the next thing which is uh, parsing a feed and getting that feed that you've parsed to go into your database and uh, when we continue uh, you'll get uh, pretty pretty darn close to uh, populating your database tables. Thank you for watching this video and if you find this helpful please give me a thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe. Really do appreciate it and we'll talk to you in the next video.